Man like cappuccino, yeah? <laughs> I see that, Will. I see that. What's good, guys? What's happening? What is going on? Boomer moment. That's standard for me. Let me switch that up for you. There you go. Changed it up for you. That should do. guys what's going on What's going on here, man? There we go. Sorted. Yeah, what's good, guys? What's happening? Interesting day today in the Discord, I must say. A lot of people asking questions. Doubting the pattern. Or maybe not doubting it. Maybe not understanding it. I'll go with not understanding it. But you can see what's going on. Hit the road. Francesco, how you doing? 
Put skins, what's good? Who we got in here? I ain't looking at any altcoins right now, guys. Happy evenings. Anna, how you doing? Joel, what's good? Kenobi, man, how you doing? Chuck T, Ghost. Adriana, how you doing? Sylvia, just addressing my peoples. Gregory, how you doing, my friend? New Retro, Drew, Hudson, Will Herbert, Man Lang, Quinton, Tarantino. <laughs> what's up, what's up? <laughs> yes, TN Lights, those videos are coming very soon. Going to get into the, sw um, the swing of things. Just got a few things to address first. All right, but we're going to start that. I want to start those towards the, the start of next month. So start on the 1st of April. Yeah. Question the pattern every day and it answers. That's how it should be. <laughs> yeah, today is, um, I'm a bit tired today, to be honest with you guys. You know, we were just grinding away, just following these patterns. These patterns have been playing out quite well, to be honest with you. They have been playing out very well. A lot of a lot of questions were asked today. You know, people, people are still approaching this strategy with a static frame of mind. They expect one thing to happen continuously all the time when that's not going to be the case. Remember, it's variation on the theme, right? If it was that easy for us to identify a W and it was always bright as day, then, you know, you wouldn't be coming to this stream. You'd only need to find a W and there you go. But it's not always the case. Why? Because not everybody shares the same psychology on price. Yeah. Now, Stephen, for you, my friend, it's all about just projection. Keep going over the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Guys, tell me what you think of the sound. Is everything all right? Tamo, that's so true, bro. The patterns, the patterns are always going to be different, all right? There will always be different um, intentions by the market makers, everything. We anticipate, I mean, today when we just, I don't know, man. It's just, it just, the way it plays out is just unbelievable. Yeah, Bilal, I mean, I'm going to start coming on sooner, all right? But the reason why I come on soon, well, come on a little bit later is so that I can get closer towards the Tokyo session. Because right now, the, the Hong Kong session starts at 2 a.m. GMT time. So it's a bit of a crazy time zone, man. Crazy. 60, Dan. I'll have a look at Fetch in a bit, my friend. Don't, don't worry about that. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. I was high last night, but you made sense from beginning to end. Okay, cool. Spark, that's good, man. How am I feeling today? I'm all right, man. I'm all good. Just a little bit. Do you know how much sleep do you get each night? Three hours. Consistently three hours. Guys, the only reason... Look, people shouldn't be panicking when you're trading these patterns. Why? Because you shouldn't be putting down size. All right? Don't be putting down too much size. Understand what leverage does. All right? Jay Yassel, man. How you doing? You're recording a new video. Mind if I play in the background? Um, Whatever, bro. I mean, I don't know what I need to do, but that's cool. I've plugged stupid bots to try. <laughs> Three hours got to cause them to make the PS from pattern. Oh, yeah, I mean, look, there's, there's, we're, go we're gonna cover quite a bit tonight. All right, gonna co cover quite a bit tonight. There are a few questions that were asked in the Discord. People not understanding why, you know, if I keep saying that price needs to come back to the 50-day moving average, and then when it doesn't and it approaches it ever so slightly, it's still questioned in the sense, well, it hasn't come back to it. Which there is a positive to that because you're sticking to a to a rule you're sticking to a commitment all right and that's what's really important that's what's really important okay let me just sort this out right now uh haven't done that okay then cool 
All right, and good. So, how many people took any trades today? Did anybody take this pump? Give me a one if you took the pump. Give me a two if you didn't. I need to know who took trades today. Greg, what's good, man? Ones, ones, ones. Nice. Okay. So everyone did take a good trade today. Okay. Yeah, there's a reason for these blue charts here, guys. I'll explain those later. Um, Yo, was dopes in here. I want to know if dope's in here. We're forming the final leg of the W. Still got one more bit move to the go to the downside. Happy days. All right, what we got here? Trying to learn things in chronological order. What playlist would you recommend me from start to finish? Start with it. It's all in the mind first. Get your mind right. All right? Because a pattern can be memorized. You can learn the pattern. All right? But when you find the pattern first, all right, it's the mindset that's going to make you come away from its idea. It's going to, you're going to be challenged when you see the pattern. You're going to say to yourself, oh God, is that an M? Is that a higher low? Is that lower there? Is the candle here? You're going to start being inconsistent with your decisions. The pattern may be present, but you might not have the mindset to actually handle the pattern so go into the playlist where it's called it's all in the mind watch that go through all of that although all of that is in context to forex principally it applies yeah okay cool you got nice pumps on kiwi yen happy days i want 2k okay so people are actually so did everyone make money today that's the question that's the key key thing Adrian, that's crazy, man. You started reading it before this stream. It's the only book that I tell you guys to buy. Wow. Nice. 0.027 Bitcoin. Happy days, bro. Look, guys, at the end of the day, I want to see successful trades. I'm not interested in the money. Anyone can make money in the market. All right? You make 10 cents, you've made money. Nah, Alex, don't worry about that four bucks, bro. Repeat that four bucks a hundred times, then come and see me. Yeah? Tell me you've managed to repeat the same trades four, you know, a hundred times. You waited three hours to lose three bucks. Lucky you, bro. Lucky you. Okay. All right, then. Tina, is this pattern an M formation? To me, it looks like a retrace. It all depends on how you see it. Variation on the theme, Galu. Variation on the theme. All right? <laughs> Mike, why do you love me, bro? Okay. Minsky, listen, if you can acknowledge that you got lucky, that's good. Because you'll know when not to, you'll know not to do that again. Trade the majors and the minors. That's it, bro. There's tops. I'm going to trade nine. Max. PC Shed, you in here, my friend. We've got an announcement to make as well, guys. We've got the competition to discuss. I need to let everyone know about this. This is going to be an interesting competition. I need to know, is Industry of Magic, are you in here? Theo, are you in here? I need to know. Nah, who of who? I'm, I'm from Cyprus, I'm Greek. Can someone explain what's going on here? We're watching patterns, my friend. We're trying to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum. Chasing patterns, bro. Okay then. Did I justify this global news? <coughs> PC Shed throwing knowledge on the Discord. What's going on on the Discord? Let's have a look. 
Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay. He's throwing knowledge. Fair game. Fair game, fair game. Cool. Okay, then. Right, let's get straight to it, guys. So. We were neighbours in ancient, ancient times, my friend. All right, and so the first thing... Thank you, Alex. The first thing we need to address right now, okay? I'm going to bring up this image. I'm actually wait until we get a few more people in the stream. All right? But this competition, the Instagram competition, all right? Whilst I'm waiting for a few more people to come into the stream, make sure you go and follow me on the Instagram page. This competition is going to be crazy, all right? It's already been started by someone, which gave me the inspiration. And we're going to roll something out, which is going to be quite fun for you guys. You'll, you'll enjoy it. You will enjoy it. So let's get talking about what's going on with Bitcoin. Here we go. So what do we know? Started off the week here, didn't we? Yeah. We know that this is where the pattern is formed, actually. Let me bring up my true pattern. There it is. That's where the pattern started. W formation, rise, retrace level one, rise level two, drop, rise level three. All right. Are we expecting this M formation to play out? All right. What, what are the key things that we need to find on here? So. Let's work it out. All right, then. So. The Instagram, if you go to the top of the um, chat, it's pinned to the top of the chat. The website is pinned to the top of the chat for Instagram. I'll chat, put it in the chat right now for you. There you go. Happy days with that. All right, cool. Anyways. So. Tell me what we can see here. I want a general consensus. Start breaking this down for me. All right. What have we seen in this area that sort of validates that this M formation may actually play out. What criteria can you see? TG Incognito, how you doing my friend? Level 2 going to level 3, happy days. Level Yep, level 2 has been confirmed. Next, quickly throw something. Bit of a distance from 3 pushes, well done, that's what I wanted to hear. Three pushes, three vector candles, not reaching the high the second time. Wonderful. Yeah? Three candles, pins to the high. A lot of pins upsides. We only have, we only retrace two of the three big candles. Okay. Right shoulder, there you go. Incognito, you saw it, the head and shoulders. Variation of. Above the moving average, long wicks. What are, what are they working? They're working the highs. They're taking the guy's orders. There are people that are going long here, going long here. Yeah? What do we know about the M formation? Market makers push price up. They trigger all the guys to step in. They do it all before New York. What does New York do? New York reversal brings price back down. Takes out the stops for the guys who went long in this zone right here. Makes them think there's another opportunity to get back in because everyone trades the, everyone buys the dip. Does everybody understand the concept of buying the dip? If anyone is new to this channel, tell me what you understand about buying the dip. All right. I need to know if I've got some Kenobi fanned out EMAs. Well done. I need to know if we've got some, some people in here with a certain mindset. Henrik, listen, you'll always see, okay, you'll see more levels okay and cycles on a 15 minute time frame as opposed to the hourly that's why we always base our decisions on the cycle of the hour time frame don't worry about the 15 minute <laughs> you buy the dip when it dips okay fast move is the false move yep <laughs> all the members and everyone else are laughing By the guacamole, as if you just said that. Fucking hell. <laughs> By the guacamole. Rodrigo, how you doing, brother?
it could be formed. Listen, guys, remember, right? We trade what we see. Yeah? We trade what we see. Right now, what do we see? We see price pinning the highs, coming back to the 50-day moving average, right? Which is buying the dip. Buying the dip concept is only valid for the market maker, not the retail trader. Why? Because when the retail trader comes into this dip, okay, he's getting set up because he got busted out in this move to the upside here, right? He got his stop losses hit because he went long here, here, here. Didn't want to miss out on the FOMO. Oh, sorry, the FOMO of the move. He wanted to get some money in because everyone else was buying Bitcoin. It pulls back, takes out the stops. He thinks it's going to continue and bounce to the upside again. This is where he's buying, right? He's buying in this area. Market maker is also closing shorts to the downside. So he's allowing them to realize the orders, okay? But then market makers reverse it and start building shorts again at higher prices. Pin the high, pin the high, pin the high. Getting entry at this point here, bang, drop. Happy days, retrace, continuation to the downside, yeah? Price can even go all the way up here, test and then pull back. But right now, where are we? We are at a 50-day moving average on the 15-minute time frame. Drop down to the hourly, where we at? We are at the 13-day EMA. And what do we know about the 13-day EMA and the 5-day EMA? What is it? What do we know about those two moving averages? Tell me what I know about the 5 and the 13. Let's see. Look, if Bitcoin, look, he said Ethereum was going to go to 4,000 and Valentine's Day. He's saying that it's going to go to 80K. You know what? If it goes to 80K, that's cool because it's in line with my projection. I'm expecting a pullback before that happens. All right. But I don't understand why they say these things, man. I really don't. Why they pretty much mislead people, man. Is it a pump and dump? Who knows? Who of who? doesn't apply to you then my friend you're a scalper like me you know we don't care about journey or you know trend direction for us it's we get in we get out that's the game over we're not interested in holding it you know signals that's it yep there you go the signal that's what we want the five and the 13 day ema is the signal line right now we can see she's literally at the 13 day depending on what she does in this zone right here is going to determine whether or not she comes back and tests the 50 day moving average She's come back and previously recovered this candle. We still have a few more orders here. And we have a few more orders down here to realize. All right. From my understanding, we could actually retrace all the way back down to the 50 day moving average, create a formation. All right. And then move again to the upside. But it all depends on what they do. We've been catching the full move, guys. We pretty much caught the full move. Yeah. Rise level one. Retrace, rise level two, retrace, rise level three, still coming in line. It has effectively tried to break it, but it did recover. It recovered most of the previous move there, so it verified level two. Now, all we're waiting for is to determine whether or not this M formation is going to either continue one more time to the upside, try and take out the M4 again, and then collapse, or simply collapse from this point, because this could be the actual second leg of the M formation. We won't know until it plays out. Yeah? Remember, there's plenty of time to get in, guys. Yeah, don't think you've missed the pattern if it breaks away from it. There's plenty of time. Because look, if price drops down to the 50-day moving average, all right, if it breaks below the 50-day and the trend continues further to the downside, you're only going to you're gonna see that when price tries to pull back to the 50-day and then pulls away from it. There's, your sec there's, there's another entry for you. Yeah, but you've always, always let the market maker tell you what he's going to do. Don't try and guess what he's going to do. Yeah. Mad Madara, listen, the confirmation is when the pattern completes. I can't tell you when the pattern completes because I'm giving you financial advice. I am guiding you and talking you through the patterns every single day oh 2500 sorry yeah sorry man thanks for correcting me 2500 by valentine's 
Well, there's your Valentine's Day present. Ah, here we go, Mario. Look, he didn't need to consult. Look. Because price didn't come down and test the 50-day EMA, what does that zone tell you there? Market makers didn't want to go send price down further. They were happy with the accumulation of lot of shorts in this area. Okay, so they 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 realized the profit from these previous zones and they believed that they could send price higher. So they stepped in. They didn't allow price to come down to the 50-day. That's a bonus for us because we now know that price needs to come back and test the 50 day to you know regulate the zone they need to realize a return on these candles all right price isn't going up it's formed a lower high as they put it right now we're just waiting for it to break down slowly to come down to the 50 day moving average and then we will have our information do you understand mario yeah Ether seems to be different this week. Yes, the past few weeks, Ether has been coming back to the same. You think market makers are using that psychology? I'll tell you what, yeah. If you go through the previous streams, you're going to see a pattern here. Go through the previous streams and look at how Bitcoin and Ethereum behave, right? We found that Ethereum would be an entity to herself. Bitcoin would do its own thing. Now, we also found the following. When Bitcoin moves, Ethereum holds. When Bitcoin holds, Ethereum moves. When Bitcoin moves, Ethereum continues to move. So this is the fraction of disparity that we were coming across. Right now, Bitcoin and Ethereum are just moving together. If anything, Ethereum's the one that is moving. What is that telling me? Is that telling me that market makers are favoring ethereum because they can accumulate more contracts because of how cheap it is who knows are people now more inclined to trade ethereum because of how cheap it is bitcoin is coming up at 50 nearly 60k how many people are going to be holding a bitcoin to trade it's, it's like it's its own marketplace so people may be going all the way over to ethereum which probably explains why she's so volatile and she's making these wild moves to the upside you know? But look, Ethereum's not really showing me a a pattern. That's the thing. Because we could actually have... There you go, we got divergence. Bearish divergence at the highs right there. Spike, shark, shark fin outside the volatility band makes higher highs. RSI is dropping, man. It's a major divergence right there. What do we know? That's what they're doing right now. Moving averages are quite fanned out. From the last time it pulled out, okay, price hasn't come back to retest it. That M pattern right there failed. Didn't work out. Happy days. Move on. Does that, does that invalidate the system? Not at all. Because you're not going to get every pattern right. So then we look at this and we say to ourselves, well, how? why did we believe that that was an M formation? How many vector candles could we see in this? Well, there wasn't any on the hourly. Drop down to the 15 minute. Granted, there probably was. Yeah. Here we go. Was there any vector candles? No. Look, there was only one and it really wasn't that much of a strong candle. Yeah. So there's your always go back to looking at patterns that failed because then you know what to look out for. This is really important. Because I'm able to dismiss what, what pattern didn't work. Because I've got these patterns ingrained in my mind. I've sat through thousands of variations of these patterns. And I'm still sitting through many more. Alright. Study why the pattern didn't work out. Ask yourself. How many vector candles did I see in this formation? Well I only saw one on the first leg. Then what happened? Price pulled back and then tried to re-attempt um, re the previous high. And then pulled back again. Granted it did pull back to the 50 day. Spiked a high and then came back down. But it was very small price action. Could you have made a profit? Probably if you were a scalper. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah, okay, look. People are saying that the moves are all heavily influenced by PayPal. You know what? You're saying then that it's fundamental analysis is what triggered the move. Now, listen. Market makers would have done one or two things. They would have made their way to the upside in a slow fashion or they would have used news to, to trigger 
and take advantage of that. All right. Doesn't matter. All right. So when so so what you're trying to say, in essence, is and this is what I've been seeing a lot of today on the discord. A lot of people saying, yeah, but the pattern only played out because of the news. In other words, if the news didn't come out, your pattern wouldn't have played out. Well, that's bullshit because we've been playing patterns left, right and center before any news has come out. All right. News has been rolled out. And the patterns are playing out. How do we not know that the price has already absorbed this information prior? You're telling me that the news has just let everybody know that PayPal are going to be using crypto or accepting crypto. Nah, man. This was they, they knew about this a long time ago. They've been building positions. Yeah? When we start buying based on the news, the market makers are getting ready to sell. All right? Galu, we are at level three right now. This is the consensus. Look at Bitcoin. All right? We're seeing signs of a potential level three. If it doesn't play out, that's fine. Why? Because I haven't committed any money to this because I'm waiting for something to happen. So then we reevaluate. If price doesn't come back down to the 50 day to test, okay, that tells me that there is still strength to see further price action. Can we see vector candles? Well, look, I mean, the clue for me was this. Yeah. The clue for me was this rise, rise, rise. But you also got to understand as well, guys, right? When I'm looking at this sort of price action, my entry is going to be here in this zone right here. I know that the New York is New York reversal is going to step into play because look, the UK extended the move out. They set up the range for New York. What did New York do? They opened, triggered the brinks and then they dropped. Look how they retraced the candle near enough. Look at that. They covered all that whole area and then they went again a second time just on the just literally right there. If you can pay attention to that, they triggered the shorts there and then they closed their longs. All right. So now what are we waiting for? Is the 50 day moving average getting ready to be tested? Could we make another move to the upside? Is this an extension of level three? Because we're in level three right now, guys. Level three may or may not be over. It may not go into an M formation. All right. It may just trickle to the side, make one more attempt to the upside. Hong Kong opens and then potentially drop, brought back down to the, in, bring price back down into the range. All right. And then we have Thursday, Friday, which are pretty much going to determine where she's going to go next. We have a new cycle. All right. Depending on the account, Ali, I go from one to one leverage all the way through to 500. Yes, you can have an extent. You can have an extension of any level. Remember, the market makers can change it up at any time. Ideally, we would want the levels to play out based on the way we draw them. You know, granted, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right. But you have to remember, yeah, that they, they can change it as much as they want. This is why you've got to be concentrating. You've got to be paying attention to what they're doing with price. Look at what they're doing. Pin in the highs, pin the high, pin the high. You ain't seen many pins to the downside. They're not working the lows. They're working the highs. They're trying to get guys to trigger their longs. What's that? Can we follow you on co-vesting on Prime XBT? What's that? When you say your entry would have been there, do you mean you would have gone short after the vector candles? Correct. Yeah, so Muggle Wuggle. What a name. <laughs> when I see vector candles, right, based on my experience in this, from understanding this pattern, whenever I see the vector candles, to me, they are the climatic behaviors. People are rushing in to get their longs filled. All right. That's when the market makers are going to get them trapped. All right. So what am I waiting for? Once those three candles have been formed, price is always going to retrace back. It will make one more attempt to the upside. Now, that upside can be done in a few moments, like you can see here. All right. Or it can be done after a while. So it could be done here. All right. But I will try and short the high as high as possible based on the candlesticks and understanding why price 
couldn't continue further up based on these three candle vectors right there. All right. I'm always looking for an entry at this area here. This is my entry point. Why? Because I'm able to exploit price all the way back down to the 50 day moving average. Once it hits there, I'm waiting for it to come back up again, not retrace the previous zone because it wants to trap the retail traders who got who missed out on the move to the upside here. Make them believe that it's going to continue to go up. How do you think it made them believe that it was going to continue to go up? What is it that they did in this area to make the retail trader believe that price was going to continue to go up? Tell me. Valdixis, don't worry. It's not, it's not a noob question. It's all good. Cryptic K. I'm actually planning on doing something similar, but I want to get a team of traders. Literally a team of traders from the Patreons, from the Discord. I want to try and see who who understands this. And then we're going to set something up like that so people can follow our trades. Simple as. There we go. I just seen the first person to say it, Roman, is the green candle. Yep. The green candle there triggers the retail traders to believing, yay, wicked. We're going to go back to the upside. I got, you know, I brought the dip. Happy days. All right. Then what happens? Spikes back straight away. Traps the retail trader. Triggers their stops. Makes them believe it's going to happen one more time. And then it does the same again. And look, they crush them. Completely wipe them out of the zone. All right. Now what are we doing? We're just waiting. We are waiting for Tokyo to open. Man, she's so far away. Well, I've got this competition right now for the tier three Patreons. Whoever wins this competition is going to get a one-to-one. -one. Now, w once that competition is over, I'm going to be rolling out one-to-one -one sessions for the tier three members only in the Patreon. All right. But the tier two members in the Patreon, they're going to be group sessions. So anything from three, four, five, six, all the way up to 10 people in a group session where you can fire questions and we can look at, you know, Look at charts, give you guys projections, homework, get you guys to apply the knowledge because it's not about just me talking about it. I need to know if you guys are understanding it because if you just want to listen to me talk, go look at the previous streams. I need to know you guys are understanding it so that I know how to advance in what I'm telling you guys because there's so many other strategies that you can learn on how to exploit. My goal is to effectively get you guys to understand why you should be entering in zones like this. Rather than waiting for the full pattern to play out. I'm, a, I'm trying to get you guys to play the pattern when it's complete. Because to me, that's a safe trade. Right? That's what I'm trying to do. Okay? Domantas, well done, man. Well done. So, yeah. And, guys, I, can, I know some people are feeling a little bit frustrated. I'm getting messages from people wanting to know about the one-to-ones and what have you. Just sit tight, guys, because when they come, they're going to come fast, man. And we're going to be doing a lot in those in those one to one sessions. Yeah, every single day, the patrons, they get the first update from half seven in the morning. Bang. I'm, t I'm talking to them about charts from half seven in the morning. Yeah. And then throughout the rest of the day, they're getting continuous updates. Yeah. Look, man, look, if the confidence to be on a team, you, you're not going to be judged. You know, you don't, we're all, we're all going to win, we're all going to lose, doesn't matter. Don't think you're going to get judged because, you know, you only win at 80%, your 80% win rate and you don't feel confident to be on a team. Nah, bro, your win rate will tell us whether or not you you should be on a team. You know, it's not going to be something that, you know, you have to pay for. We want to, you know, bring people in and create teams of traders, all right? And absolutely rip it. Yeah? Just want to know where people are standing. Okay? Who's in control of price right now? Gregory. Who's in control? Well, we know who's always in control. The market maker is fulfilling orders. Right now, it's market maker hour. Right? They're widening the spreads. 
They're just hitting orders left, right, and center, taking trades for the guys who currently are on the way home from work in New York, traveling on the on the on the underground, on the subway. Sorry. All right, guys want to trade, place a trade before they lose signal. See how it plays out when they come to the surface. Market maker right now is fulfilling those orders. People are at home, sat on their sofas, you know, bored. Probably want to open a couple of trades right now. Market maker is widening the spreads on all platforms just to really get people involved, setting up the range for Hong Kong and Tokyo. Yeah. Of course, yeah, the market makers. There's three market makers. The guys in Asia, Europe, and the US. All right? They work the markets all together. They set up the zones. All right? <laughs> market maker. Tina, could you perhaps create a crib sheet for us with the most important notes? Right, I've got one gentleman who's actually taken the time to compile up a PDF based on the moving averages and I'm going to roll that out okay towards the start of next month because we're finalizing the month now there's some things that need to get addressed I want to start the month fresh all right and get you guys prepped because we got a busy April man we got a very busy April I'm going to be putting out the projections on the new channel as well all right so um where are we at with that right now let me just bring that up for you guys. Okay, so this is a new channel that I've created. I'm going to spam the chat. This is only for crypto and Forex projections. There's not going to be any streams on there. All right. No streams. No how-to videos. It's just purely projections because I know people want to come to the streams and, to, you know, listen to what is discussed about Bitcoin and Ethereum. They may not have the time. It may be too late. So I'm going to create those videos for those guys. So 10, 15 minutes. So it's a quick little watch. And it, you know, effectively gives them what they need. All right. The streams are always going to be designed to teaching you how to trade. That's my goal. Just teaching you how to trade. Getting you to understand my thought process whilst we're breaking down charts. And granted, I know it's not going to be easy off the whim. All right, people, you all have a lot of questions to ask. I get that. Work amongst yourselves. I'm seeing loads of guys talking and saying, look, this has to happen. This has to happen. When you exchange the information off each other, remember, we're all here to win, guys. No one in here is going to know any information more than someone else. It's all based on your commitment to it. All right. There are people that have absolutely made a killing in seven weeks. We've been doing this stream for seven weeks. People have turned £8,000 into nearly £150,000. You want the proof? Go into the Discord. It's pinned to the chat. Okay? Go and have a look at the profits. I believe collectively, all right, guys in the Discord have a nearly equated to at least $700,000 in profits collectively from the start of this stream. All right? From the 21st of January to now, we may have actually, we're approached to closing nearly a million dollars in profit from traders across this stream. Can you believe that? You know, I ain't over promising, bro. I ain't over promising. It's really at the end of the day, guys, I'm going to teach you how to do it. And I've been consistent seven weeks straight, right? When you guys are starting to tell me that I need to sleep... You know, then that's why I know I'm doing my job. All right. Yeah. And do not join the Patreon before tonight. Do not join it tonight because you will be double charged. Patreon, man. I didn't even know that about Patreon until someone told me. All right. But I did not know that. Patreon got dropped to me just out of the blue. Mike Dutch says to me, you need to start a Patreon. So I was like, okay, let's get it started. And then bang, the support on there is unbelievable. But I did not know that they double charge you. So if you joined today, as in before midnight, whatever you pay on there, you'll pay again on the first, which I think is a taxing, man. That's so bad. So bad. But yeah, listen. Understand this, guys. You're only going to be proficient in this system if you commit to it. Yeah? You're only going to be proficient if you commit to it, man. 
receive questions. How would I be able to join Patreon? Is it the two ninety nine on YouTube or somewhere? Else? Go into the go to the links in the description, guys. Everything's in there in the description. But don't join the Patreon tonight. Wait until after twelve. Wait till the first if you want to do it, because there's no point. You're gonna get charged twice, man. I think that's BS. Yeah. But um yeah, if you need they're all links, merchandise, whatever you want, it's all there. I'm gonna make a new t shirt. I'm gonna call it you know and granted. Because I'm seeing people are taking the piss out of me with that, man. When I use the word granted and you know, that's my full stop. I can't help it, man. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. Blue candle means volume is starting to rise. All right? And what I want to do also, guys, is I want to I want to gather, you know people's stories i want to put them all together stories of lo of losing of turnaround traders right so i want stories from you guys where you've come to since coming to this stream you know you've realized where you've gone wrong and then you've turned your trading around but talk about what mistakes you were doing beforehand i want to try and collate as much of that as i can and then put it into a pdf all right and give it to you guys okay so that you've got effectively a Bible of losses and people that turned it around. Do you not understand the information? Wow, it's crazy. That might be my next book. That might be my next book. Having a conversation with traders. Yeah, that's what it might be. But okay, listen. Now for the exciting thing. Are you ready? This Instagram competition. <clears throat> so the instagram competition is going to start off like this all right a gentleman that goes by the name of theo all right he did something for me which gave me an idea all right here we go Wait there. Ah, oh, man. Can't even do it. Give me a sec, guys. I don't understand this. Hold on. Okay, you ready? Here we go. So, this is what we're going to be doing. So, everyone needs to be following me on Instagram. And the reason being, all right, is you're going to be challenged, all right? So, wherever you are in the world, you have to go and draw the pattern somewhere, all right? Courtesy of Theo, this is the first submission. You got to go somewhere in the world, wherever you are, draw the pattern and tag traders reality to the pattern. All right. Now, the person that has the best pattern, wherever it is, okay, 
is going to be the winner of the following. Ah, you're going to enjoy this. You're going to enjoy this. Courtesy of PC Shed yet again. All right. So one of our mem one of our guys, Marcelo, he's picked up his shoes today. He got his Traders Reality kicks. All right. Here we go. So the winner will get a pair of these. All right. Yeah, can be drawn. You can do whatever you want. You can do it in sand. You can do whatever you want, guys. All right. Now to commemorate, to commemorate what we do, you have one week. Okay. You've got one week. We're going to do it on the 7th. I don't know. We'll work out what day we're going to reveal it, but you have one week. All right. You put happy days or the pattern. You have to include the pattern. Okay. You can submit as many times as you want, but you have to tag me in your post. Okay? Don't tag me from the same account a thousand times. Ain't going to work. All right? But you can submit as many times as you want, wherever you are in the world. Make sure you put down Tag Traders Reality. Tell me where you are in the world or wherever it is that you decide to draw the pattern and happy days. The first submission was Theo, so thank you so much. The winner is going to get a pair of these, all right? That includes everyone from the subscribers to the Patreons, you know, to the YouTube members. One of the winners is going to win a pair of these Reality 2.0 kicks right here, all right? You'll win one of those, okay? That's your, that's your guideline. Make sure you join, you follow me on Instagram, all right? Because that's where you're going to be posting your images, okay? <laughs> you grow can be a it can be a story it needs to mention all right it needs to mention traders reality share it to a friend to whatever all right and we might throw in some more bits and bobs in the mix with this as well okay but you've got seven days guys start whenever you like draw the pattern happy days or anything that you guys take from this stream. It can be anything. But make sure you draw the pattern. Alright? Let's get this pattern worldwide, guys, man. Let's get this pattern worldwide. Alright? Whoever wins is going to win a pair of trainers, man. The Traders Reality Kicks. Okay? Courtesy of PC Shed. Alright? We've got so many other things happening, guys. If you want the links to Instagram, go to the chat. It's pinned to the top of the chat. That's where it's at. All the links are in there, guys. Yeah, PC Shed is a different breed, guys. He's a different breed. Completely different breed. I'm so grateful for that guy. Okay, let's start looking at price. So, we'll look at that again in a moment. Let's go back to the charts. Let's see where we at. Gonna scratch on a pad, <laughs> please. <God. coughs> your dog's gonna get. Oh, dude, you can't do that to your dog, man. With the advanced entry, whatever you want, guys. All right, whatever you want. I'm sure he does his business internationally. Yeah, I should be resting my voice. God, this is going to be so exciting, man. I can imagine where people are going to do it, man. Shenid, Shenid AR. You will naturally get to that stage. All right? You will naturally get to that stage. There are people, yeah? That actually all they do is simply wait, let the W play out for itself. So they acknowledge that the M and the W is there and they wait for 
the first move away from the zone and the pullback. All right. So here we go. Look at this. So there are guys that literally just trade this pattern here. They'll trade this move here. Rise, retrace, continuation up. They'll just wait for that pattern. They're not interested in level ones, level twos. They're not interested in anything. They just trade bounces from the 50 day continuing continuation to the upside they don't care about no m no w no fundamentals no nothing they just want to look for the pattern itself can they find the pattern yeah so that's what they're going to be looking for let's let's find another pattern right here here we go so you've got this it was kind of a bigger pattern but hey it still worked out you've got a rise rise you've drawn your first leg there wait for price to come back to the moving average happy days it's done that right extend your move out wait for it to take out this previous high there you go up it goes ahmed thank you very much my friend god bless you man yeah and there are guys that just trade that that's all they trade they don't care about no w formation they know that the w formation leads to the pattern the w formation is effectively the tattoo because look rise retrace continuation if you take this line here and put it here, what do you have? A W. That's what it is. All right. We're all, all we're doing, guys, the tattoo itself is effectively half a W. That's all it is. You know, it's, it's like a V. Yeah. So you'll get to that point, my friend, where you actually just say, you know what? I'm not going to wait for the M formation. All right. It's coming back to the 50 day. I'm going to trade the move to the upside. But pay attention to what's going on right now on the 15 minute time frame. Look at this. You can see right they're working this zone isn't that a bit frightening how the pin right there just look closely look at this funny how that pin right there right there pretty much finishes in this zone yeah that's crazy how close it is so they spiked the high and they've pulled it all the way back what's going on in this area here Pin to the high, pin to the high, pin to the lows. What are they doing to the guys in this zone? Yeah? What are they doing to them? Is there an easy way to trade the TDI? Sonny Biggs, man. One of the guys has got their shoes. He's in Miami. And he got his shoes delivered. So I'm waiting for your shoes to come. PC Shed should have his shoes as well. Costas, exo charts. Is that with chart? Is that with chart champions? I think I'm going to be having a conversation with this guy with chart champions. <laughs> Shane Dar, man, that's all good. Yep, trapping both longs and shorts. That's what they're doing. They're making them think oh what's going to happen next what's going to happen next they want retail traders to be inconsistent right when we look at these candlesticks we're saying to ourselves are oh, you know is it indecision indecision the market doesn't know where it needs to go of course it knows where it's gonna go guys yeah i mean if you want to scalp these tight zones where market makers are pretty much manipulating every trader on the scene be my guest i don't trade these these zones here Tight ranges are not great for scalpers because they're on the premise that it hits a high and then it comes back away from it. That's not what happens. It doesn't always happen like that. Yeah, scalpers are about trading the momentum pushes away from zones. Would I ever have MM Crypto? Guys, I'd have MM Crypto... <laughs> I'd have him on this channel just for the entertainment, man. We wouldn't even talk about charts. You know, I just ask him, so what, what you do in your day, bro? Talk to me, man. <laughs> the 50-day EMA bounce on the 15-minute or the hourly. Is it okay to use that? Look, always make your assumptions on the, of the 50-day on the one hour. Because the 15-minute time frame, the 50-day on the 15-minute is the 13 day ema yeah the 13 day ema remember guys trade the moving average in light of what of in light of the time frame if you're going to trade the 15 minute time frame be aware that price the 50 day moving average is the 13 day ema on the hourly 
If you're going to trade off the 15, you stay on the 15 and don't make no other judgment other than what price is doing at the 15 minute. All right, this strategy involves working off the one hour and the 15 minute. If you just want to dismiss everything altogether, focus exclusively on the 15 minute time frame. All right, make sure you pay attention to just the 15 minute time frame. All right, because just because it's bouncing off the 50 day here doesn't mean it's going to be the same for the hourly. But look at how long price spends away from the 15 from the 50 um, 50 day EMA. Look, rise up really soon. He's going to come back to it. Let's look again. Rise up, comes back to it. All right. So you've got to be careful. Make sure you stick to the time frame that you're sticking to and make your judgments based off that. Okay. Yeah, I haven't asked anyone yet, but if we can get the likes up, that'll be great. Happy days. He fights bears on a daily in his free time. Can we start calling the market maker by his actual name? <laughs> yeah, we're trying. I think um, I like Crypto Kite. Right. So I think Mike Dutch is trying to arrange a conversation with Crypto Kite. He's a good kid. I like him. If you know a good close friend, I don't think MM Crypto would entertain it, my man. He's He's got a lot of people that he needs to entertain. He ain't going to come over here, man. So it's all good. Dave the market maker. <laughs> Do you know what, Damir? There are many, I've made many trades based on a gut feeling. When you watch price long enough, then you'll understand. Can you talk more about the 5 and the 13 day EMA? Right, the 5 and 13 day EMA is very important on the hourly. All right, let's look at it. So, you see here where the 5 and the 13 day EMA cross over. So, a, a criteria to enter short, right, will be when price closes below the 5 and the 13 day EMA and those moving averages cross over as you can see what happened here the yellow dot dashed line is the 5 and the dashed red is the 13 when those two cross over for a short term we know that the signal is to go short when the when the 5 crosses below from above the 13 all right you could have took a trade right there all the way down to here you could have made a nice stack based on the break of that zone and price closing there. Had you entered on here, you would have experienced a drawdown. You would have waited for the candle to finalize up here and then enter short on the close, well, at the high of that and drop. How would you know the high? You drop down to the 15 minute time frame and you'd be able to see effectively a pattern, like a small M. Yeah? Now, you want, for confirmation of a long, you want the 5 and the 13 day to cross back over and you want price to close above it. That's what happened here. Yeah? Notice the confluence. Earlier on, guys were talking about why price didn't hit the 50 day moving average. Does that validate or invalidate the pattern as such? Well, we need to understand in the grand scheme of things, you can't make one decision for an entry based on one factor. You have to collate as much information as you can. Where are we in the light of this move? Yeah? So, we're coming towards the end of the Asian open, um, Asian close coming into the European open, which is the, here is the dead gap, all right? They move price out of the zone. Confirm support at that area. Close above the five and the 13 day EMA. Afterwards, they close, they cross over, all right? And price continues up. We've got the M2, M2 breaks out. The 50-day moving average is pointing upwards. Momentum is favoring higher prices, okay? We use the 5 and the 13-day EMA to effectively tell us when to get out of a position, whether we are long or whether we are short, okay? If you want to download these charts, guys, go into the description. The links are all there. It's IC Markets, MT4. When you've downloaded this platform, make sure you join the Discord because all the indicators are available on there free of charge under the indicators channel. The 5 and the 13 day EMA will start to fan out. 
When they start coming close together, you know something is brewing. So they're building up the momentum, short-term momentum that is, okay, to either raise price or drop it. The way you determine the drop is when price closes below it. And then whilst it's closing below it, the 5 is going to cross over the 13. Only make your decisions of the 5 and the 13 day EMA based off the hourly. Not on the 15 because that's because you're, you're going to see a lot of crosses on the 15 minute time frame. You're basing the crosses on the hourly because the hourly tells you the cycle. All right. Does it have to close above the cross on the hour or the 15 or both? Like Steve, it depends on the time frame that you're trading. If you're exclusively trading the 15 minute time frame, make your decisions off the 15 minute time frame. All right. Don't make your decisions off the 15 minute time frame for the hourly. Do you understand? You make the decisions of the hourly and you say, right, the hourly is telling me price is above the five and the 13 day EMA. Those moving averages have crossed over to the upside. Price has closed above it. Let me drop down to the 15 minute time frame to establish an entry. When you go down to the 15 minute time frame, you're looking for a W, you're looking for an M, you're looking for a pattern. You know, that's what that's what that's for. No, Roman, listen, that if all traders follow this way, hypothetically, if this channel, okay, goes to, let's say, all right, someone said it, a million subscribers, all right? And you all followed this system. You have to understand one thing. Not all of you are going to make the same entry. Not all of you are going to trade the same coin. Not all of you have the same concept of value and understanding of the pattern, all right? If anything... The market maker will welcome more people to trading. Why? Because we're liquidity. We're increasing the market cap. We're increasing the daily turnover. The more money that comes into the game, the more the market maker can get orders filled, the more money he can make. I don't think you guys understand how much money is made in trading. I'm talking from the market maker's perspective. All right? I'm talking... Forex, $6.5 trillion per day, daily turnover. It's categorically the most liquid market in the world. All right? So much money. Do you think a million subscribers on a channel all doing the same or using the same pattern is going to do anything to that $6.5 trillion? Nah. Market maker will be excited when he hears that there's a million people using a pattern why because they know that the pattern's not going to be a hundred percent successful but he's happy to let you us realize 75 percent plus i mean how many guys are placing trades and hitting five out of five you know six out of five ten out of ten pc shed 87 out of 87 62 out of 62 40 out of 40 32 out of 31 that's not human bruv that's robotic all right what I'm saying is it can be done. All right. You don't have to hit the same volumes as PC Shed. But the guy took the system, absolutely ripped it apart. He pretty much said, Tino, fuck you and your system, man. Check this out. PC Shed's the king of the system, guys. Straight up. He's the successor. He's ripped it apart, guys, which is testament. Okay. He sat through every single one of the streams, all right? His learning took him seven weeks. Turned 12K into 100K plus. Go figure. You need the proof? Go look at the profits in the Discord. It's all there. I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea. Does anyone want one? Please let me know your requirements for cup of tea. Sugar, tea, you know, milk, black, whatever you want. Let me know. I want to come back to a selection of orders. <laughs> And a selection of likes. <laughs> I feel so cheeky when I ask for that shit, man. I don't even ask anyone to subscribe. Just give me the likes. <laughs> All right. Give me two minutes, guys.
All right, cool. We back, we got the copper char, and we're ready. Here we go, let's have a look at what's going on. Look at those contracts coming in, man. People just accumulating crypto left, right, and center, man. All right, um, let's bring up, oh, interesting behavior by Bitcoin. Here we go. All right, in questions. Questions, questions, questions. All right, ask me questions. Throw me what you need to know. Tell me. I'm going to start talking about a couple of other things. I just want to get things going while I'm enjoying my cup of tea. Ask me questions and I'll read as much as I can. All right, before you ask the right question, right, here we go. So someone's asking about the PVA candles. Here we go. Here we go. Firstly, the price, volume, support, resistance, analysis, these candlesticks. These candlesticks pretty much give us the footprint of the market maker only if we understand the context that they are delivered in. All right. This is why I don't like using trading view. This plat this strategy, PBSRA, is exclusively for MT4. Alright? Granted, the guys that are smart enough to incorporate this onto Trading View, fine. Visually, great. But when you try and marry the two together and you see MT4 candlesticks that don't match up to Trading View, the simple reason being is because MT4 uses one broker, Trading View uses several. Alright? Now this strategy has been based on the MT4 platform. So when I see a candle, a vector candle on here, but I don't see it on TradingView, I dismiss what TradingView has to say. I always make my decisions based on this platform. Any trading competitions that I've done, everything and anything has been done off the MT4 platform. Even if I've had to use different platforms, I always bring it back to the trading, sorry, the MT4 trading platform. All right. Now these candlesticks here, these green candlesticks tell you the story, okay? of whether the market maker is going to go long or short. What is he making the retail trader do? We know that when price is rising, we know the market maker is building his shorts at lower, at higher prices. Okay. Now look, ask yourself the question, guys, if price is rising ever so much, you're saying to me that there's supply in this area and then there's no demand from the retail trader. Look at what's been going on here on the principle of buyers being in control of price when it's rising. Surely you're saying to me that they all stopped at this point because they didn't want price to go any further up. Come on, man. We're dealing with it. We are operating within an emotional market. People are fearful. People are greedy. All right. People will always maintain the concept of greed as much as they can because the title itself allows them to. They will stay greedy. So price will continuously keep going up. But the market maker needs to reset the zone. He needs to bring those traders back into the game. He needs to reset by making price retrace. So anyone that believes that when price is rising to the upside, all right, it's because buyers are in control. You ain't going to last in this game. I'm telling you now. Do I think it's alt season? I just focus on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Whatever they do, the alts will follow. Are the brokers MMs? The brokers themselves effectively fulfill the obligations of the retail trader. So you put in an order here, you then send it over to the market maker. That's what they do. They bring it to the market. Yeah. So for example, if I place an order right there, that order, when it gets triggered, market maker, it's going to get sent in, in split seconds. It gets sent to the liquidity pool, comes back, gets filled. Happy days. Yeah. Yeah. First lesson earned. Yep. Sell greed, buy fear. Love that. How you doing, Ioannis? Are you okay? I completely don't understand what I just heard about the 13 minute, 50 minute hour EMA. The 13 and the 50 min hour EMA. 13 minute or five. What? I don't understand what you're talking about. You mean the 13 and the five EMA? On the hourly. What don't you understand, my friend? The 30, look, the simplicity of the 13 day and the 5 day EMA on the hourly is this. If price is above it, make sure that the 5 and the 13 day, okay, are below price, okay? So as long as price is above it, happy days, all right? When it's below it, 
Oh, so, sorry, when price is below the 5 and the 13, okay, you're looking for shorts. Confirmation of the short is when price closes below it and the 5 and the 13 day EMA cross. All right. So what do we know about this pattern right now? I'm on the understanding that Bitcoin is going to come back and test this zone down here. It's going to come and test the pivot point. It's going to hit this zone right here. But we need to wait for confirmation. We need to wait for confirmation. Why? Because this zone needs to be broken out here, which was yesterday's low. We've got an M formation. Now this M, excuse me, granted is extended out. All right. I'm anticipating that the M from this point here would come back up and take out this zone here. But we are at Wednesday's midweek reversal. All right. So they could be setting up the reversal now. However, we could come into the New York session later on to the tomorrow. Oh, sorry, tomorrow. OK. And they could reverse from that point. So the midweek reversal, it can happen on a Wednesday. It can happen on a Thursday or a Friday. For all we know, they could hold the zone up here. All right. But we won't know until the market opens Tokyo. Tokyo gave us some good moves last night. I think people are confused about which EMAs are on which chart. M15 on hourly. Right, guys. Always pay attention to this box back here. This is the 15 minute time frame. I'm only going to talk about two time frames. The 15 minute and the hourly. All right. That's all I'm going to talk about. I ain't going to be pulling up no daily chart, weekly chart. Not interested. All right. The reason being is because we're not in trades long enough to warrant what the daily time frame is doing if you're an investor this channel may not be for you well well the information i'm talking about may not be for you all right because i'm not going to be looking at the higher time frames if you're a trader scalper then ideally these this is the sort of channel that you need we don't need it but you know you can you can hear what i have to say all right <laughs> moon boys will get a rough wow Yeah, guys. Yeah, that's really important. Lewis has touched on a very big thing there. Yeah, make sure. Um, mine's Peppermint Rainbow. Peppermint. Um, make sure that you're trading with a exchange that doesn't have high fees because this strategy is just going to eat you alive with fees, man. You don't want to do that. Why did you define the start of level three at 57188 if it did not test the 50-day EMA? in the one hour is this the same case as a fake l1 approximately principally yes but look at the confluence patricio look so you're basing it off the hourly all right look at the confluence of what happened here all right this is what i mean guys the pattern the cycles they may not be static sometimes we see them static sometimes we don't you've got to be mindful all right don't make the mistake of thinking that each pattern has to be perfect because you'll never take the fucking trade i'm telling you all right, I'm telling you, you, will never make the trade. Okay, now notice this candlestick right here. All right, didn't come back down. This retrace didn't come back down to test the 50 day moving average. That's fine, but it did retrace, took out some of the previous zone here, but found support and closed above the five and the 13 day EMA at the same time they crossed over. Happy days, we've got momentum to the upside. All right. We've got the M2 pivot point. Where would have been a valid entry? On the close of this candle or on the close of the confirmation candle? Bang, you enter on that close there. Your stop loss will be at the bottom right there. Ride it out. Look what you would have done. Happy days. You knew you were expecting another move to the upside because you were in light of level two, right? You had a rise level two, retrace. One more rise, rise level three, retrace. Could we see an extension of the move? So, all we're waiting for right now, guys, is if price continues to drop down, we should recover this previous zone here, test the 50-day, all right, come back up, form the second leg of the M formation, then drop, all right? So there's various ways of trading this, guys. This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying there's various methods and strategies within this strategy in itself, based on your understanding and proficiency of the strategy. That is what I'm going to be welcoming as time passes on. This is what I want to be bringing into the Patreons because the Patreons are getting a set information which I'm going to understand if they get it or not, which means I'm able to then advance on my expression of showing you guys how to use advanced entries and getting you guys to 
you know, develop your repertoire. Right now, this channel from the past start seven weeks, all right, sorry, from the last seven weeks is all about getting you guys to understand the patterns. We're going into the levels and the cycles now, all right? People are starting to get it. They just need to see it a few more times. Keep repeating the same shit over and over again until it sticks in your mind. I've effectively printed the, the pattern in your mind. Fuck, we've got an Instagram competition to encourage you guys to see the pattern all the time. Now that you've done that, happy days. We work onto the levels. You know, when you're standing in your shower, draw a W, rise, retrace, rise, retrace, rise, then formation, drop. Yeah? Do that on your shower, glass door, whatever. Just keep drawing the levels and you'll naturally come to the chart and you will realize them. You will see them. Because the moment it clicks, I'm telling you, it will click. So many people have messaged me and said, Tino, it clicked. It hit me so fucking hard in the face yesterday. Happy days, man. Happy days. All right. So that's Bitcoin right there. I'm going to come back to it in a second. Ethereum. Here she goes. What's she doing? All right. This is going to get crazy. Hold on, actually. I'll do it like this. Here we go. So... is where ethereum started off all right ethereum trading very close i'm seeing head and shoulders can you see it very very tight pattern there that's on the 15 minute time frame drop down to the hourly i mean look at that very extended up very we need to see a little bit of a retrace because it'll be the first time from the actual cross that it did that so we're waiting for price to come back down to the 50 day moving average See how she plays it out. That's what we're expecting. No financial advice, guys. Remember that. Yesterday's high is very close in sight. So there's not really much ground for it to take other than to continue higher. What is she doing at the 50-day moving average right here? Let me change it up. Scale to one. Bring it in. There she goes. Price is now below the five EMA. What are we waiting for? Potential signal. No, 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 no. The two hour rule is based on the 15 minute time frame. All right. Because look, for example, um, let me give you an example. Here we go. Look, say you entered on this W formation right here. This is the two hour rule, guys. If you don't know the two hour rule, okay, it effectively means that you need to close your position if it hasn't realized a profit within two hours of entry, all right? It doesn't matter what where it's at, close it because you're all about capital preservation. You ain't about being a hero in this game. We don't care about being heroes. We care about succession of trades. We're not interested in making money. We're interested in successfully winning our trades. The money is the byproduct of it, all right? That's why 95% of traders lose because they only focus on the money aspect. They don't focus on the science. They don't focus on the art. They don't understand about the character progression in this game. All right. You could say that I'm obsessed with it, but you know what? Fuck, this is what I do. Yeah, I understand it. I've trained my eyes. It's in my mind. And I'm working on getting that to you guys. People have taken the same concept. They're now killing it. People are quitting work. People making life-changing money. People sorting out their whole families on a seven-week fucking stream. People pay thousands for courses and they fucking throw them in the bin. Yeah? You're learning this in real time. You ain't going through slides. Because that's the only way you can learn if you swim with the sharks. Alright? That's the only way. Two-hour rule. Okay? W formation. Principally, I'm going to be entering here. That's my entry. That's the advanced entry. Why? Because <clears throat> look. If you take the top of the W and you extend this out, well, what do you have? <laughs> you have the pattern, don't you? Yeah? Yeah? You see that, yeah? So look at this, two hour rule, 
every 15 minute time frame candle right you need to be in profit within eight so rise one two three four five six seven eight your trade is good you can hold it all right if it comes back down and takes out the previous zone all right of your entry it's up to you on how you manage your monies all right but let's take an example from here. Rise, retrace, come up. Let's say you do rise, retrace, come up. Here you go. Say if you took this, you saw this as a pattern, a very tight pattern, but nonetheless, okay, it's still a pattern. Yeah? Let's say you entered here. All right? What do you see? Okay? You entered on the break of that because you saw a pattern right there. So the two-hour rule, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. You can clearly see that that point there, those candles, that, that candle there is the two hours from the start of here. Because 15 minutes, yeah, work it out, is two hours. One, you know, four 15 minutes, 60 minute candles. Yeah? Times two is eight. Price is down here. So... Within two hours, don't doesn't mean you have to hold the trade for two hours before or before you realize a profit or not realize a profit. You're better off getting out after an hour if you can see it breaking down. All right. Don't make the mistake. The strategy itself is designed to make you realize a profit from the moment you enter because you're going in at the right point. You're going in at momentum. Yeah. Look at what I'm saying here with the look, even though this failed, it still allowed you to realize a profit when you broke, when you entered on the break of this zone right here. You still were managed to able to get yourself a few points. Okay. If you were smart enough, you would have closed those. All right. If you were even smart enough, you would have closed it here as it came back down to test this. And if you were really smart, you would have changed direction. Because there are things that traders do. Good traders will cut their losses. Great traders will change direction. All right? That's what I want to get you guys to. I want you guys to be the guys who, without hesitation, change the direction of your bias. This is why I say to you guys, I don't care where price is going to go, up or down. I don't care what price Bitcoin or Ethereum is at. I don't have to attach value to something that is based off emotional intelligence as such, for the better word. Yeah? Yeah? Oh well, yeah, always make sure you pay yourself. G Spirit, sorry man, I've just seen that. It's, it never gets to my questions, never. Right, say your question again, bro. Oh, let me try and find it. Charlie, if you look at the pattern every time it closed below, it went up. Where's your question, G Spirit? When is closing below it starts going up? When it crosses, are you sure? I think you mean the other. I don't understand what you're saying here, bro. Ask the question again, bro. I'm trying my hardest to read your comments, guys, man. If you want me to read a comment, super chat it. I'm sorry, that's how it is. 199. And I'll read it and then I'll be able to address it. Now, nah, don't this don't ban the people who dislike, man. That's 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 nothing. G, where you at? Ask your question, bro. Couldn't tell you, right, um, Rizio. I'm, I'm focusing only on Ethereum and Bitcoin. The altcoins are going to do exactly the same as every other coin. You know, I don't know why people trade them. You want to trade the coins where the money's going. That's where, That's Ethereum and Bitcoin. I can't see your question. For a beginner, when would be a good time to buy a full Bitcoin this week or next? I could never tell you that answer to that question, bro. Never tell you that. The alternative for MT4 in Canada, I mean, there's Forex.com, Alanda, um, IG, but that's it, man. It's not really great. Okay. Tina, is there hope to be a trader if you only have an hour a day? I work full time and take class. Not enough time to sit on the computer all day. Guys, the mistake I made was sitting at the computer all day. 
I found that I made most of my money in the morning and then by the time the day finished, I gave it all back. All right? So now I try and do, this is part of the reason why I started this stream because I do not want to be sitting in front of the charts too long because I'm going to be taking trades. I will take trades. If you see it as like, you know, a one hour, two hour window, you're going to be focused. You're not going to be, you're not going to turn lethargic halfway through the day. If market makers rest, why the fuck can't you? Who are you to sit in like a, you know, eight, nine hours a day trading, bro? Now, if you're trying to learn something, granted, it's a different story, all right? But when it comes to putting the muller on the table, you need to be in and out. Get your money, chill. Buy a computer game. Learn Call of Duty. Read a book. Start knitting. Do your garden, all right? Get up in the morning. This is this is what I do. Look, let me show you what I do, all right? Pull up a pair, okay? Let's play, take your, um, let me take Kiwi N, all right? I look at Kiwi Yen today. So Kiwi Yen. I look, I get up about half past, well, about quarter past, quarter past seven today I got up. All right. And I updated, no, not to, no. I updated the patrons today at about half past seven. All right. Got up at about half past six to check the Asian range and see what price is doing towards the close of the Asian session. So I look at the final third. All right. I can see that price is being pushed to the upside. I'm expecting a retrace back. This is effectively a stop hunt, okay? They're taking out orders, all right? They're moving price to a zone, all right? Then as they come to close in the session, they bring price back down. This area here is a stop hunt rise. Yeah, so stop hunt rise, retrace, all right? I'm looking for price to come down and break the 50-day moving average. All right, so what I watched was, I watched this first leg M, all right, M pattern right there, drop, rise, me trace, I went short in this zone here, okay, I knew it wouldn't go any further, because they tried that zone, they've trapped the liquidity, they built shorts, green candle, green candle, stopping volume, stepping in in that zone okay went short there wait for the break of the 50 day bang took my money at the previous previous session low came back retrace continuation back down to the 800 day and then left that was it that was me finished all right i was finished on the break of the 50 day all right done finished for the rest of the day granted that trade took what one two three four five six seven eight that trade took two hours from understanding what happened here now i could have got in short here could have got in short here could have got in short there but i needed to wait for confirmation the pattern needed to play out bang finish there that big spike that candle there because if you drop on the five minute time frame this is what you see on the five minute time frame you see them pinning the highs there one two three failure to take out those highs right there bang broken down it goes have you seen this candle formation before guys what do you understand about this what is bitcoin currently doing right now on the hourly do i have to show you no 15 minute where's she at let me bring the 15 minute time frame just so you guys can see the correlation between it look yeah this will this will get you guys interested Where's she at? Where's she at? Come on. All right. Can you see this zone here? Tell me if you got it. Can you see? Can you see this zone here? Yeah, can you see that zone right there? Yeah, this is on the Kiwi Yen on the five minute time frame. I need acknowledgement. Type one if you see this zone. Price coming back from the high, allowing the retail traders to believe that they're buying the dip and then they spike up with volume. Can we see that? Yeah. Happy days. Now look at Bitcoin. What's that? 
exactly the same shit.